Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to change the laptop battery. Here I have the Dell Inspiron 7760 or the model of P98F. So I need to replace the battery and I'll walk you through step by step on how to do that. And if you're not sure where to buy the battery from, what I'll do is I'll link them in the description below. Go check it out. It will direct you to either eBay or Amazon um, for the replacement part that you need. Also, you do need to have a Phillips screwdriver. This is the PH000 um, screwdriver. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the screws. So the three screws on the top here, they do not come off. And as you unscrewing and you hear the little click, you should stop at that moment because it is already reached to the maximum. The rest of the screws here in the middle and the bottom, they do come off. So make sure you put them on the side. It is okay if you mix match the screws because they are all the same size. Okay, once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to separate the back cover. I like to start off from the very top here, and I just push them aside. The plastic is coming right off. And I just open it up and remove the back cover. At this point here, you can see that the battery here is at the bottom. Now, let me explain a little bit here. If you feel like the battery is not holding the charge, meaning that the battery fully charged at 100% only lasts you less than an hour. That is a sign that the battery is no longer holding the charge. Maybe it is time for replacement. The second thing is that if you feel like your trackpad, the trackpad is right underneath the battery. So if the trackpad is not clickable or if you feel like the trackpad is swollen, if you feel like the laptop is is um, bulging, meaning that the battery from the inside is pushing the back cover and the trackpad is expanding pretty much. So if you feel that happens to your laptop, then it is more likely coming from the battery. Okay, so to remove the battery, first you need to disconnect the um, connector here by simply slide it down change the screwdriver to the uh, ph1 size okay it's a larger phillips screw head change it to that remove the screws the two screws here can be removed and the black one here will stay by the battery you can just lift it straight up and that's how you remove the entire battery. Okay, so this battery replacement part, you just need to look it up for 3HWPP. And that is the replacement battery for this. And assuming that the new battery just comes in, this is my new battery. To install, you just have to reverse process by first sliding the connector in. So you're just going to push it up and then align the battery. So there's a little lash here. So you align them at the bottom. Let it sit properly. Now the black screw on the right, right side of it, just tighten that up. Two more Phillips screws right above the battery. And there you have it, we just replaced the battery. Now the easy step is to have the back cover installed. So you simply just put it back together. And it is okay when you hear that little crack because those are clipper. The clipper is latching back in and you can hear that little cracking noise. 
which is normal. Change it back to the PH300 Phillips screwdriver. And just put all the screws back together. If you find this video is helpful to you, um, please go ahead and smash the like button or give me a like that would really help me. And uh, thanks for supporting doing that. And if you have any question related to computers, uh, comment below. I do read your comments and I'll try to answer any of your computer questions. Okay. And make sure you check the link in the description below. That link would direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement battery for this repair. Okay, and thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe, um, smash the like, and thanks for doing that. Until next time, bye now.